do you feel like you have 50 different browser windows open inside your head and you don't know where one of them is playing music from you have forgotten what it is that you've sat down on the computer to do that is what having a distracted brain feels like and mindfulness is the opposite of that it is knowing where you are how you are what you are doing and today as a neurologist i want to tell you how you can reach a state of mindfulness hopefully through this video and the next seven minutes you will reach a state of mindfulness with me so step number one take a deep breath you have been scrolling a lot probably and you clearly have other things on your mind so take a deep breath and come to the present moment if you can drop a quick comment below saying present this act will act as a feedback loop to your brain that yes this is where you are next if you can find a pen and notebook and just start scribbling whatever it is that comes to your mind when you're listening to me just having that movement of the hand while you're paying attention gives you a, another depth to this moment that helps you become more mindful of where you are Funny story, this is my Lamy ink pen. I've been using this for the last four years and recently I've also switched to purple ink, which has been my new favorite. The next step in mindfulness is understanding what is going on with your thoughts. Now earlier, maybe a few years ago, people used to talk about mindfulness as thinking less. Now these days, thinking is not really our problem because in order to think, we first have to process information. And currently, we are all living in a world where we are overstimulated. We are watching so many reels, seeing so much content that we don't really have the time to process and think about those things. So the first step towards mindfulness is actually having and observing your thoughts. See what is it that you are thinking of. Most likely, you are thinking of something in the past of things that have happened or you're worrying about something in the future. Maybe you're planning your day ahead. Either way, start observing your thoughts. Now, interestingly, the more anxious you are, the more your mind will fluctuate between regretting the past and worrying about the future. And this is normal. Before you start fixing this, first learn to observe. Step two is understanding your default mode network. And this is where we get into the crux of the brain. Your DMN or default mode network is the network in the brain that lets you wander in your mind where you are daydreaming. So whenever you're not actively paying attention to something, your brain switches off, goes into autopilot and your DMN gets turned on. And that is when your thoughts start wandering from imaginary place to imaginary place. When you're mindful, you are bringing your consciousness from the DMN network back to your prefrontal cortex. Imagine you're flying a kite. If you let the thread go, the kite will fly wherever the wind will take it. But being mindful is grasping onto the thread and pulling it and taking the kite to where you want to fly it. That is the difference between DMN network and your prefrontal cortex network. Step number three is increasing the strength of your prefrontal cortex. Now your PFC is like the CEO of your brain. It is responsible for taking all the important decisions for your attention, for your working memory and impulse control, which means that if you see something distracting, your PFC has the responsibility of saying no, that you don't want to look over there. You want to keep focusing in the present moment. The stronger your PFC is, the more mindful you can be. So the way to improve your prefrontal cortex strength is by practicing bringing your attention back like it is a muscle. So just like you go to the gym and practice biceps curls, imagine you are practicing attention in a similar way. Now, imagine if this is your attention. Every time your attention starts to fade away and start going into somewhere else, you have to bring your attention back to the task at hand. Each time you do this, your prefrontal cortex and an associated area called anterior cingulate cortex gets stronger. The stronger this connection becomes, the stronger your willpower gets. That is how you improve mindfulness by simply bringing your attention back to the center again and again. 
You can even improve this by practicing a yogic exercise called Trataka, where you keep your eyes fixed on a single point like a candle flame and you reduce the amount of flicker in your eyes. The longer you're able to maintain your gaze in one point, the easier it will become for you to maintain your focus and be more mindful. Step number four is to reduce your amygdala activation or the alarm system of your brain. Now, the amygdala has the job of looking for threats in your environment. So every time you feel that something is wrong, somebody is threatening you, there is some danger, your attention will flicker away. Now, imagine if there is a fire going on next to me, I won't be able to shoot this video. But if there is no fire and my amygdala thinks that there might be fire, I would be very distracted. That is what anxiety is. And unfortunately, in the way that social media and our internet is structured right now, we are constantly being bombarded with potential fires. We are constantly being told that this requires our attention. This is urgent, which is why we keep shifting our attention everywhere. Telling yourself that those imaginary fires don't exist and where you are currently is the most important place for you to be is the secret to mindfulness. Now, finally, the practical steps. What are the things that you should practice every day to improve mindfulness? Let's talk about that. But if you guys are interested in learning more about the brain and specifically about neuroplasticity, how to change the brain connections and how to improve yourself, I am conducting a brand new workshop. It's on 3rd of August, 11 a.m. and the link to register is there below. I hope to see you all there. Now back to the video. There are three things that you can do daily to improve your mindfulness. Number one is the five second pause. Before you start doing anything, take five seconds, take one breath and ask yourself, what am I doing and how am I feeling? Just knowing where you are and how you're feeling about what you're doing will give your prefrontal cortex enough context and it will allow you to be in the moment much more. The second thing you should definitely be practicing is box breathing. Box breathing is one technique that is being used even by Navy SEALs to be more mindful and present. The way to do box breathing is by inhaling for four seconds, holding your breath for four seconds, exhaling for four seconds through your mouth and holding your breath again for four seconds. Repeating the cycle for one minute allows your body to go from an active sympathetic state to a calmer parasympathetic state. The good thing about this breathing technique is that you can do it anywhere. You could do it in your travel, when you're sitting at home, even at work. Spend one minute to do this and become more mindful throughout the day. And finally, one technique that I have started using recently is a way to control your anxieties. And that is by naming my fears. So whenever you're feeling anything negative, it could be upset about something, it could be angry about something or sad about something, try to name it. There is a phrase that says, name it to tame it. And earlier, I didn't really understand why that was, but now I do. Basically, when you are feeling an emotion, it is your limbic system that is feeling it. But the part of your brain that attaches words to emotion is in your prefrontal cortex, specifically in the Broca's area. So when you name a feeling, either when you're journaling or when you're talking to a friend, you are basically giving a structure or a shape to an emotion. And that allows your prefrontal cortex to then solve that problem or understand that problem better. And once you do that, that emotion bothers you lesser. So whenever you're feeling distracted, try to name what it is that is upsetting you or distracting you and you'll find it is easier to become mindful after that. I hope this video is useful to you and you're already feeling calmer just by watching this. If you are, let me know in the comments. It gives me a lot of joy to read the comments that you guys put out. And if you like this video, share this with your friends, with your family. Who knows? They might be struggling to be mindful as well. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye everyone. Take care.